do a little video on hole and fuel caps, uh, probably just because I've seen a lot of videos on how to replace the cap and read some various posts online about how to correct an issue. And I figured I would put down because I figured what if I have to replace it, who cares if I take it apart? So it's actually pretty simple. And what I ended up doing was uh, just go in right here, you can see. There's one of these clips. I'm sorry I can't hold it with two hands because I'm using the phone. But you got a clip like this, you pull that off first. And then when you look inside, you'll see this ring, which is covering up this rubber piece, which then covers up this piece. And when you look inside the fuel cap, hopefully you're able to see, you can actually see a white hole in the middle. And what I ended up doing was I looked on the other side, which I'm sure a lot of them are like that. And you can see that white hole again. Mine had sawdust all over it. So I figured, ah, that, you know, maybe that's the problem. And it, it wasn't venting properly. So I started cleaning it and shot carb cleaner in there, tried shooting air through it. Put it up to my mouth, blew through it, you know, grabbed it from one side, blew it from one direction, which of course it won't go because the duck bill won't let, let the fuel out or the air. But I tried blowing from that direction, couldn't get anything through it. So that's when I started removing it. And the first thing I removed was, and there goes the cap. First thing I removed was this. And then you'll see these items in there in this order. So I thought, well, why don't I just start cleaning and blow air through it? And I did get it to where it actually opened up a little bit and I could blow air through it. However, I did have another cap here, which I can easily blow air through and you still can't blow air through the, you, you could, but it was very difficult still. So uh, I threw this little stone filter. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that here, but this is just your little stone filter. Now I tried cleaning it and everything too, which is carb cleaner. So I put it in some solution, which is a little bit of that gunk carb cleaner and mostly mineral spirits threw it in the, uh, the old Harbor Freight you know, ultrasonic cleaner and I'm gonna see if that takes care of it. I'm kind of leaning towards if it doesn't clean it out, I'm just going to remove it and leave it out and put this in. And then I'll just have to make sure that I keep the, keep the hole clean. And all I have to do really is just blow some air through it every once in a while and it should hopefully blow through. But, but anyway, just to explain some of the issues I had, and I think this might be a lot of problems that a lot of folks have with these particular units, is they, uh, I turned off, well, shut off the chainsaw, and eh, maybe five, 10 minutes later, try to restart, can't start it. Keep pulling on, pulling on, it won't go. Pull the cap off, and gas shoots out. Well, I thought, well, it's pressurized. I even read online some folks saying, hey, that's a pressurized tank. I don't believe it is. I think it runs purely off a of vacuum and this duct bill is allowing the vented air to come in and equalize the pressure in the tank. You're just getting an inrush of air and an outshoot of gasoline on it, or whatever fuel mix. So I think I'll, I'll do a little review afterwards and see if it fixes my problem. I was just, I had a, I bought one of those cheap eBay cylinders for uh, my old Craftsman and I was doing some little running and I just figured there was some uh, issues just with this, you know, a new setup and everything, but very hard to start. So I'm hoping this takes care of the problem and I'll let you know how it works.